welcome back to my channel. So today I had uh, recorded a video of me completely creating the um, Hope's Rose Folio from beginning to end. Um, how I start, you know, how they start looking, then how, what I do and how I print it so many times to get everything right. Um, down to the finished product and <clears throat> excuse me I edited the video everything and I went to save it and I don't know what happened the video is gone so I was sick over that because it took me forever I mean I would have done the project anyway but I was wanting to show you guys how I created this but um, I figured we will work on another design today um, this is not my iPad this is the one um, that is being loaned to me because when I talk to Apple today they don't know where my iPads at they have created a case and um, supposedly they will have something figured out by Monday um, whether they have to get me a new iPad or I don't know so I'm still on this little thing um, so it is a lot different trying to create on here than it is creating um, on my iPad but I figure we'll get a start um, so one thing I I do I told you guys that I use a lot of different platforms when I am creating um, <clears throat> excuse me so one thing I'm wanting to do right now is something similar to this um, and that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do now and so I am using Canva to start with and because <clears throat> excuse me I either use Canva or good notes to get my like basic shapes done and so that's what I'm gonna do right now um, so my my thought process is um, something similar to this um, I want to have the tab already on it um, like for this one you have tabs that you can put on it but I'm thinking I want tabs already on it and I like these pockets so I may keep something like this but I'm thinking about another like a side load pocket of some sort um, and I may even do like a little thing that you can put in here to make it like a three pager or something I'm not sure that's just my thought process right now um, I will link the Hope's Rose kit below um, now I'm just so aggravated guys because it took a lot to create this but let's let's get busy creating something else you know I'm not even gonna dwell on it nothing I can do about it okay so normally what I do is I go to the elements in Canva and if you don't have Canva Canva does offer a free um, program and I hope you guys can see let me try and lower this a little bit I just I'm so afraid it's going to glare because this doesn't have a screen protector like a matte screen protector or anything on it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to lines and shapes that's what I normally start off with and <clears throat> excuse me I know I won't um, um, I'm saying I know but I think what I want to do first is to get my basic I don't want that one I just want a I just want to uh, square okay so if that is and how big do we have it so I'm using my rulers up here I don't know if you guys can see I've got the ruler set on it so that's what's letting me know the size so right here it is at four and a half and four and a half by seven. Um, let's get it to 
five and a half. Okay, so that's five and a half by seven. And let's see, that's a little too big. So I'm just doing the back button. So how big do I want it? What about four and a half by six? I think I like that. Let's see how that looks when I duplicate it. Okay, that may work. All right, so this would be my basic pocket, or little folder thing there. Now, I can either do it to where they are together like this and then you would just fold them or I can put a tab which is kind of what I'm thinking so let me see let's do a tab um, and that so I think for the tab I'm going to use let's use that shape again I'm going to change the color of that one so that I know. And then I'm going to reduce the size of it. And I'm going to put it in the middle. Okay. And then I need it to taper. And I know all of this may look crazy right now. I get it. Um, but trust me, as I start doing it, you will kind of, you'll see where I'm at. So, I want this to come from this corner here, like that. So, this can go down some. See, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I design stuff crazy. I can't help it, it's just how I do. Um, like I said, it, it's when you're designing, it takes it, it's a lot, and it may not look you're not going to really tell anything right now. It's when I go and I import it into Photoshop that you'll start seeing what I'm talking about. And that actually, this needs to come to there like that so this needs to you reduce that size again and so I'm just trying to line it up and I want to get it to where it's halfway straight and so I need this to meet with that point right there okay so now I need to bring it over need to take it back just a little bit. This is why it's so much easier on my other iPad. Because I can work with the pencil. And I can't do that here. Okay, so that's looking good. So let me duplicate that. And we're going to move it to this side. And remember, we want it to be right there so then we want this to come let's get it where it'll come right to it I'm just I don't talk much it's because I'm thinking but that's what I have to do I'm gonna reduce the size of that just a grunt Okay, so let me show you. So that I'll go ahead and export this um, just so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So y'all don't think I'm totally crazy. Oh, I'd already saved it. Okay, so let's go to Photoshop. And let's go to Create New. And you guys probably hear my printer in the background, and I do apologize. I'm 
Um, that was one of the things that I was saying um, on the video that I recorded this morning that took, that I deleted. Um, whenever I'm designing something like this, I may have to print it 10 times before I get to the final product because um, like this one, I believe was the first one. And I had the pockets, I don't know if you guys can see, but they were right up there on that fold. And then they came over just a little bit and I didn't like that. So I reduced the size of those pockets. Um, there was something else with like the belly band or something. And so I redone it and oh, I had to resize the pockets again. And so by the time it got done, you see my pockets are lined up. There's a good space away from the um, fold there. Um, the little side pockets here, they fit really good. So it takes a lot to design it. Okay, so let's pull that image in. Okay. So now I don't need the one I just want the one that I was actually working on. So let me just do this. Okay, and I'm gonna hide the background so that you guys can see this. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the paint bucket and I'm gonna go ahead and fill, fill this in. And let's, ah, I'm doing it again. Okay. Look at me. Okay, so we've got that filled in. Now, I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna get this again. And now I'm going to cut right here. So I'm just gonna bring this down. Okay. I think I got everything where I want it. And then I'm gonna, oh, wrong one. Now I'm gonna do that. Okay. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna flatten it. And then I'm gonna hide it. Now I'm gonna open this one and I'm gonna do the same thing. Transform selection. Okay. And so now I'm going to do invert and then I'm gonna clip and then flatten. So now when I open that one, you'll see I have the two there together. So let me fill this in. So let's fill it in. Um, let's use maybe like a cream color. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill that part in too. All right, so there's that. Now, I can take my photo, and so I have one of the Hope's Rose. We'll just use that, and I can put that right there on it, and then clip it down. And so you see, I have my flap here that's not attached to that. And then I could take my flap, and I could do it that color. And so that's how I do the different pages, the different pockets. Um, so that's why you see when I'm working in Canva or something, um, you know, like I can resize that a little bit or um, whatever I need to do. Um, so let's go back to Canva and let's continue working. So we have that. Um, then I said I wanted a pocket. So let's do this. Let's pull this down. Okay. And then I want the pocket to wrap behind it. So I want this to fold. Let me group these together. And let me make them a little smaller. Okay. And let me do this. Let me group these together right here. Do 
to select multiple. It's not letting me. Okay. And so I want to group these. And now I want to duplicate them. And I want to bring that duplicated group down here. And I want to resize it so that it will fit this one. Does that look like it's fitting right? Nope. So let's move that group a little bit more. I think it needs to be a tad smaller. There we go. So there's our group. But now I need, I'm going to want a thumb pull in here. So I'm going to do this. And it will make sense in just a little bit, I promise. Okay, so let's export that page. And let me show you guys. All right, so let's go back over to Photoshop. Let me hide these for a minute. And then let me pull in what we just did. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of part of that circle. So I'm going to do that marquee um, rectangle. And I am going to go just like that. And I'm going to do transform selection because I want it to come even down to there. Hit done and hit erase. So now I'm good. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna get this into separate layers. So I'm going to duplicate this twice and then I'm gonna hide it. Now I'm going to take the first one and I'm gonna do that marquee rectangle and I'm gonna transform it, maybe. And bring it over here. And then bring it over here. And we'll bring it this way just a little bit. And then we're going to mask it. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I actually think I am going to erase a little spot. I want to cause a break right here. Actually, no. Let me think how to do this. I should have done that a different color. I should have. Let's go back. Let's do this a different color. Let's do this a green. Did it change it? So now let's export that page again. All right, now let's go back in and let's delete these. And you'll see why in just a minute. So let's pull that in. All right, we're gonna do this. Now let's take this here and let's do our rectangle. And I think I got that pretty spot on. All right, so now we need to duplicate. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna draw our rectangle again. And we're just gonna go up to that line and we're gonna come down to here okay and then we're going to mask it 
and let's leave that alone for a minute. So now let's, let's hide this one. And now I'm working on the second one here. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw my, um, my marquee rectangle. And I'm going to line everything up where I want it. And so on this, I'm going to actually go to here. And then I'm going to do that. Okay. So let's hide that. Let's open this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to do our rectangle here. We're going to just make sure that we have everything lined up where we want it. And it looks like we do. And then we'll do that. All right, so now that I'm on that, let me go ahead and fill this in. Okay, so we've got, got that filled in. I'm going to hide it. Actually, let's do a lighter color. Let's do something like that. All right, so now let's hide it. So now let's unhide this, and I am actually going to uh, fill this in. Then I'll paint that area, and then that area. Okay, and then hide it. Now I'm gonna unhide this, and then I'm gonna paint that area and that area. And then I'm gonna take my magic wand I'm going to go right there at the green and I'm going to erase it. And so now I have that pocket. So if we do it like this, it looks very seamless. So if we were to bring something, um, a photo in like this, it would be on this one here. And so I could, you know, transform it however I wanted to. And then on this one, we could do, um, let's just do a piece of copy dyed paper. And then we have our flap there. So, so that's how I do um, my designs. Now, I would have to, um, obviously, I would want to print this out. I would want to finish the folder, print it out and um, start working on it like this to make sure that my sizes work, sizes match. Um, but that's how I do my digital designs. Um, now, uh, tomorrow, I will, I'll go ahead and continue working on this tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, I want to show you guys how to do the shadowing like I have right here. Um, so that when you list something on Etsy or, you know, wherever you're going to list it, um, it will have that shadowing so that it, um, it looks like it's off of the page. It's not a flat image. So that's it for tonight, guys. Let me know if this is a video that you guys are interested in. If so, I'll continue to do these types of videos as well. Um, I know a lot of you have had questions about it. That's why I figured I would just, you know, let you know how, how I get the templates. It's, I don't buy the templates. I don't get the templates from anybody else. I make the templates from scratch. Um, so that's how I do it. But thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>